Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a little video uh, to show how a uh, DJI Neo can be used for sort of surveying. By profession, I am a chartered surveyor. I'm actually a quantity surveyor, not a building surveyor. But um, I'm flying this FPV from inside the house. It's the little Neo with the uh, motion controller three and the goggles in three. So here's my roof, which you can see has got far too much moss on. Um, there's my little weather station, chimney pots and the uh, outlet from our log burner. Um, and you can see quite a lot of detail. If you zoomed in on, on post on this, you could see sufficient detail, detail. And if you think of the effort this would save you, rather than getting ladders and access and, and proper safe access, would be quite horrendous. There's the shadow of the little Neo. Again, a roof which is an old asbestos um, big six roof, as we used to call it in the old days. You can inspect and see the issues with that. There's our little uh, camper van, which is very green on top and needs a wash. So you can see that the uh, solar panels there, perhaps the wires could do with fixing down. You can move the controller up and down to move the gimbal. There, one of my boats. There's our motorhome again. You could inspect the top of that and see if there's any issues with the solar panels or the fixings on the solar panels. You can see that the uh, ventilation uh, hatch to the uh, kitchen area is open. Apologies for the sun, but this was done in the morning. The sun was quite low glaring in. Some more green that needs cleaning. You know, to get up and look at that would involve getting ladders out and, you know, a lot more time. And in the seven or so minutes of this video, if you look at what I've actually inspected, um, there's the felt roof on the Workman Workshop which is looking very, very good. It's been up there some time. That's a high quality cap sheet. There's one of my security cameras, or two of my security cameras actually. A solar panel, a solar power those are. Diving down into the garden. Say so, sorry about the flickering light. That's just the sun and glare through the uh, trees. So there's our indoors as uh, one of our greenhouses that we built last year. So uh, we built that out of materials given to us by a friend and so we can have a look in the greenhouse, see how our things are doing. Obviously it's winter time at the moment, we're just moving into spring. So that's our olive tree, it's doing well in there. She said to me, should she prune that at all yet? She did actually get some olives out of, off it. The grey stuff on the floor is on the dirt is potash from our fire. So that's wood potash and it's very good for tomatoes and so on. So turning around and going out the door, Again, the sun is a bit annoying at the moment, but what can you do? There's my log piles for our log burner. Having a look in our new shed. This is the beauty of doing this sort of survey with the Neo, because you've got bumpers and the propellers are protected. You know, you can actually fly right up to the glass and look in. Obviously there are some flip reflections going on from the grass, but you couldn't do that with a camera drone. If you did that with a camera drone, you would obviously be concerned that you would hit the propellers or you would hit the propellers to be honest. There's our filter from the for the swimming pool. The thing covered up is an air source heat pump. Going up, where are we heading to next? Just the cover on the swimming pool, that's a bit filthy again, the sun is in your eyes. This little bit is what we call the hobbit hole, we built that during lockdown. Uh, and we sit in there and uh, cook different things on the little stove. Again, you can go right up to the glass and look in there and have a look with the Union flag cushions. Again, and you're all protected because the Neo, or if you were using the Avata, it would be, be the same, is all protected. You can bump into things gently and it really, really doesn't matter. So where are we off to now? We've done all that, come on. Get us sort of, oh yes, we're gonna have a little look at the roof here. So that's the uh, uh, little log burner penetration through the roof with a high temperature silicon cover on it to stop the water. That could do with a little scrape of moss again and clean down. So that's a job we might do later in the spring. I'm actually looking for a way to get through and miss the twigs, which again, your camera drone, you just would not do this. You'd have hit something by now and crashed. So again, the little uh, felt roof on this, I've got a heck of a lot of felt roofs. Looking for a way past the twigs. Again, 
another high quality fat roof that we put on these cabins with a lot of moss so that could do a good old clean so that's something we can do in the uh, spring or summer and now where are we going to go avoid the uh, weathercock Oh, down in the garden the willow is always a, a challenge in this garden and something I thought I would never do but getting more confident with the little neo this is just a little passageway that we've joined between two of our sheds and we can just fly through there which is where we keep our bikes just fly through there look it held GPS signal and it was light enough for it to fly through there there's a lot of brambles through here that could be cut back. That's our fenced with our neighbours. Again, some ivy that really need to come off that tree. Flow through here, avoiding the twigs. Out we come. And there are some other roofs I could look at, but uh, I don't think I'd bother at this point. Well, I might do, there's a oil tank. flying off and probably gonna finish the inspection and fly back I imagine but that gives you a very very good idea oh I'm going for a little note I'm having a look in here gives you a very very good idea of how you could use a Neo or an Avata 2 for site inspections if you were a surveyor and fairly safely because of the guards record the condition of various different things that you may got to work on or do a report on so this was just a you know, flying around my garden, giving you an idea of how you can use it. Quite useful potentially, I think. So thanks for watching.